Gang, just want to remind you that the Are You Garbage Comedy Special is on our YouTube page right now. Yeah, it is. It is our favorite moments from last year's tour. And speaking of tours, we're here to announce 2022, the middle class famous tour, baby. New cities, new trash, new money. Yeah, gang, we're coming to Hartford, Albany, Syracuse, Atlanta, Tampa, Orlando, Pittsburgh, Buffalo, Detroit, Denver, <laughs> Phoenix, Salt Lake City, Chicago, Rosemont, and this is just part one. Plenty of cities coming after that. It's live stand-up, live AYG. It's a good time. Get your tickets now. We'll see you there. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? It's a little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out they're going to be classy, or if they're just a big old piece of trash. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day down here in Antony's basement. She's upstairs yeah. hiding the pills. Okay. <laughs> she knows who's in the house. <laughs> it's like an Easter egg hunt out there. It's like a dirtbag scavenger hunt. <laughs> it took me 45 minutes to find a Tylenol. I'm like, Jesus Christ, take it easy. <laughs> My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. we got a little company in the building, a little family uh-huh. here. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? He is an international businessman, and he is not to be trifled with in the boardroom. Or bedroom. Or the bedroom. Oh. Give it up for KJ. Hey, gang. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Full <laughs> video available on YouTube. And as you know, those numbers are <laughs> cooking, baby. I forgot T-Bone doesn't have a mic this episode. Um... And then, obviously, the greatest website of all time, patreon.com slash are you garbage. You can sign up. You get bonus episodes of AYG, episodes of Hard Feelings, live streams, the whole nine yards. Check it the fuck out. It's a party over there. Good stuff. We love you guys. Thank you so much for the love and support. And a nice shout out, even though we can't say anything, to our producer extraordinaire, the magic man, the brains behind the special. He makes us all look good. We love him. T-Bone McMuffin, Toby McScruffins. (laughs) <laughs> all right and the reason toby's off mic this week is because we got we, we got a crowded house here mm-hmm. we have our incredibly special guests both back with us again for the second or third time but the first time together they're in a hot new <laughs> kitchen <band. laughs> Kids got, are cooking. Got a little <laughs> out there in Queens. They got a little <laughs> podcast called Stuff Island that you got to check out. It's absolutely fantastic. We have uh, Chrissy Cole Lasagna O'Connor <laughs> <laughs> and Tommy Two Pops Pope right hey, here. Hey, hey. Good to see Epcot. you, fellas. Hey, how you doing? Good to see you, too. What's Thank, up, guys? Thanks, thanks for guys. having us. We can <clears throat> never do that. That what? was unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was just. Uh, I was a showman. That's yeah, the boy's yeah. a fucking showman. Unbelievable. Yeah. Taking turns. Oh, <laughs> you know how many fucking times I would bomb that audition, dude? <laughs> I swear to God. One time I had. Uh, I bombed an audition so fucking bad. It was a final callback, and I had a dude that was from, like, uh, London. It was for a, 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 a cell phone service. And the whole thing was I come out, and he's sitting in a chair, and I say how great the deal is in American. Yeah. Uh, English <laughs> in America. Well, That's a, your first. See, what always, language is this in? American or Mexican? It's fucking fantastic. I'm even bombing the story about bombing. Is this in British? <laughs> what are we doing? I don't know what this has to do with working with somebody else or O'Connor. Because yeah, eventually, yeah. I'm saying I'd be terrible at what you guys just pulled off, and I bombed. I tripped over my words. He never got it out. He's supposed to say the same lines in British. And it's still okay. and he, it's supposed to sound great. Same language. <laughs> yeah, it's in British. I, d- I it didn't like follow it. that story. Yeah. Well, you cut me off. I'm not fucking down the story. No, you got you got spooked. Chris, you got spooked let me finish the, the story. O'Connor, Lady- O'Connor, O'Connor always looks like a disappointed <laughs> hockey coach <laughs> around Tommy. Fucking chase. He, God. He, damn he, it. he knows he's got the talent. <laughs> That's icing. <laughs> He's got the raw oh, talent. Yeah. Kid doesn't want to work. Yeah. Yeah. He's got a high ceiling. He's got a high ceiling. <laughs> I'm just all stressed out because I'm living with a strange family in Michigan. <laughs> That's some boarding school. Oh. Anyway, they're all laughing at me. <laughs> Dude. They're all laughing at me by the age. I can picture that house when you this, said that. This one director put a paper over it and he started shaking like a kid who farts in the back of a school. <laughs> and I go, I'm sorry, I'm on cold medicine and it's really, I just started it lying. Pulls the Roseanne bar sick. thing. <laughs> I had a Zoloft, you know, yeah. I, didn't, I wasn't sleeping. So anyway, I compliment you guys on your intro. Oh, right, the right. guy across from you is auditioning too. He's so, with me. So you fucked him. I fucked him. <laughs> and then I was like, I hustled to the elevator. And it's one of those like pull monkey crates. So he meets me in the elevator again. I was like, I'm ver- very sorry about all that. He's like, so what? 
all right. Sorry, mate. Hey, he just looked at his feet flew the whole time. Oh, it's all right. And he had like a fucking, he had like a tweed yeah, fucking suit cook, on. Yeah. This guy got dressed for this. Uh, I just smell like booze and drugs. That Fuck probably him. pissed you. Yeah. Cold, cold medicine, you mean? Yeah. That, oh, yeah. Cold medicine. I like how that's yeah. your Made go-to. by Jameson. Yeah. Anytime, yeah. Any, anytime <laughs> anything's wrong. I mixed up the day call and night yeah. <laughs> I've used that before. <laughs> that goes further than you think. Yeah. I like it. Anyway, boys, thank you for coming in and sit with us. The podcast is fucking amazing. Yes, thanks thank to you guys. We've yeah. both yeah. done French. it. Check out our episodes of yeah. Stuff Island. You probably already watched them. Yeah, yeah, I hope so. For sure. You yeah, guys are you having fun already, doing it? Watch. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's great. How's the creative process going with the two of you? <laughs> <laughs> you want another long, drawn-out story? <laughs> We both basically fight the whole time, but yeah. somehow it gets done. Yeah, it's very natural yeah. what we do. <laughs> it's even a more, I mean, we have a very complicated relationship. Yeah. But ours is like, we, you know, you we're like an old married family. Publicly, it's kind of, take. we're a united front. You two, on the other hand, are like fist fighting the food court. <laughs> you, guys, yeah. you, two will, you two will have at it in public. You guys are a married couple that fucks on Christmas. Yes, yes exactly. Once a year, yeah. you still love and you still adore the kids. Yeah. We fuck every night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you guys are still tearing other, your clothes it's off. it's pure hell. There's a couple yeah. of domestics involved, too. Yeah. <laughs> Real Bonnie and Clyde situation uh, yeah. over here. That's kind of why it works. So, yeah, it's been going great. Thank you. <laughs> You two are attached together. You're both wearing black. That's crazy. That's good. Yeah, we went with a black. Yeah, he's he's got he's on one today too. Don't get him started. He, what are you talking about? We're yelling at a fire truck on the way in here. <laughs> well, he's just sleeping next to a fucking mailbox. You and don't the fire hold... truck goes off. He goes. How do you guys? Up! How did you guys get in the, the city? The horn is for intersections. <laughs> <laughs> the sirens are between blocks. He doesn't have a. For how crazy he is he? Does make some good. <laughs> yes. There's yes. cars in front of him. They <laughs> hear the sirens. There's we all hear the sirens. But so, they don't move. You're talking about when they go, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, the big You got to give it to them. Something's burning. Yeah, hey, dude, I'll they give know you. they're there. Nobody doesn't know there's yes. a fire truck behind It's some rich twat them. getting uh, out from, from Connecticut where he's from. I'll give you two honks. <laughs> Honks. Honks. Yeah. yeah, that was a little weird. But this guy was hitting nine, ten, yeah. all the way down the street. Well, There's a, a fire yeah. somewhere. Yeah, but he's also driving like twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking ambulances and fire trucks. They they never push it's, the limit. Not sure if you've been. <laughs> not sure if you've been reading the they news. They don't. Lately. I don't see him screaming up and down. They're just fucking. He's like Kramer on the back of the fire truck. And Were you driving? Me. Yeah, yeah, I drive. <laughs> you drove in here. Oh, did I? No, oh yeah, no, yeah, we took driving. the Uber. Oh, dude, I thought you asked me if no, I was told you were on the kind of answer was that? <laughs> Me? Yeah, I drive. <laughs> I thought you were asking me if you I need drive. Need a wheelman? Dri- <laughs> <laughs> I'll dust off the gloves for one last job. <laughs> I'll get I'm a you. podcaster now, but I'll do it. <laughs> one rule: no fire trucks. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> No, did you? Were you guys? In? I don't get out of the way. No. I go. No. You follow me. I'll take you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm good. You're, like, you're like the fullback going down Sixth <laughs> Avenue. <laughs> you had your hand on the I window. I see all the cars in like front this. of me start getting out of the way. I'm just like sucker. Oh, Connie slides yeah. the siren on top of the roof. <laughs> <laughs> no, you weren't driving when this was happening. Is no. what I'm asking. That's no, why he was so standing, on the, standing on the street. I'm trying. You know. So how did you guys get into the city today? Uber. We took an Uber. Yeah. Took an Uber. Okay, yeah. but yeah. it was. Way off and gone. We didn't yeah. hold up any traffic. Yeah, they were dude. They were standing out front like they were on a stakeout when I pulled up. <laughs> yeah, my fucking tip of my my beak was chipping by the time you got here. <laughs> Ten minutes out there, boy. Holy fuck, is it cold? Oh god. Well, how did you guys get here? <clears throat> <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Imagine doing this. All he's day. a little prickly. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. I love him, but he's got a bit of an edge to him. <laughs> Murder in his eyes, dude. How the was your fucking Christmas? <laughs> How the fuck did you get in? <laughs> what'd you what'd you fucking do? Like a one fire one truck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How are you, Toby? Doing great. <laughs> I couldn't find it. I couldn't think of what it was, but there was some clip that you guys had from the pod of you were yelling at him. It was another weird O'Connor thing. It was like the lasagna in the <laughs> in the in the refrigerator. It was something weird about food that you and your family did. But I was oh, I was looking for it and I couldn't find it. Egg noodles. It was egg noodles. Yeah, what about yeah. the egg noodles? You salt them. You eat them. <laughs> <laughs> no, he thinks egg noodles should be yeah consumed on a on a normal yeah. basis. No. Kippy, how do we feel about egg noodles? Yeah, over I, here? We, I think we talked about. I've talked about it on your pot. Yeah, no, yeah. They, they're the ones in the bag, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. the twirly ones. I'm a box pasta man myself. <laughs> What's the difference between a box and a bag? A lot. <laughs> Cereal comes in a bag. Yeah, it's trash. Parents that love you. <laughs> <laughs> about forty eight cents at the Cereal. O'Connor house. <laughs> 
<laughs> Apparently. Yeah. yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Diff- what's the difference between a hug and a handshake? All right? There's a lot. <laughs> Chill. Yeah. Not to me. real handshake. What's household? the difference between a normal, well adjusted human being and a psychopath? <laughs> <laughs> Egg noodles. Egg noodles are a tough look. Now, you guys split an Uber in, right? Yeah. Who pays for that Uber? We don't ever talk about money. It's usually I'll get get something. I'll get a tab at a a bar or restaurant. You pick up. You pick up. That's the way to do it. You can't be. They do do good like that. I don't fuck with people that have a problem with money. You know, like not problem as in I don't have a lot of it, but I'll pretend I have enough to get that car and that fucking Uber and not ask my buddy for a couple bucks back. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You ever see a table like five friends and they split the checks and shit? It's like. Why are you even eating? Should be intimate. That's just something that's special to somebody. Mm-hmm. You're going to ruin it with bringing money up. Oh, Don't guineas. invite your fucking friend over to eat. Okay, I'm with you 100. <laughs> percent The guineas really coming out of him. I know. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it's sauce on a table, you don't talk money. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking mean that, dude. Eat, cooking for somebody or, or asking somebody out to go to dinner. Of course. That's an intimate thing where like you expect a good time. And you're going to fuck it up by bringing out, you know, bringing up some money issues. Mm. Of course. You know, I waited tables for a long time. They used to drive me insane. Yeah. That's why I had hope in the future generations when Venmo <laughs> came around. <laughs> but they're still fucking bozos. <laughs> what, you got like a marble in your throat? throat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a juju beat. I'm, I'm waiting for a parakeet to fly <laughs> out of there. Someone was fighting. There's a dead room. canary in there. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Rusty. God damn Save it. Save yourself. I caught it on the fire truck by accident. <laughs> I thought you were in the hat. Um, I was choking on my water. Uh, we all got COVID. Well, who knows? Yeah. Yeah. You're hacking. I got the antibodies. I'm good. Yeah. I'm strong right now. I can't yeah. foresee you being a big vac- vaccination guy. Oh, no, I am. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, all yeah. Right. I love science. Okay. <laughs> I can't get a read on it. I'm built, I'm, built, I'm built for the vaccine. The va- I, my body takes science so well. <laughs> it's like having a conversation <laughs> with a shark, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Those eyes. <laughs> you know, they're, they're, yeah. Kev, I swear to they're God. deep and shallow at the same time. I swear to God. Hey, Dahmer, why don't you pull of, it back 20%? A lot you? of times, if I really need to get something out, I stare at his eyebrows <laughs> so that I don't get lost in this fucking evil look. Halfway they're through, like tar pits. Yeah. <laughs> halfway through, I just go, what? What's the matter? He goes, nothing. <laughs> I'm just listening to you. Yeah. I'm like, you, you don't listen like that. There's something wrong. Talk about it. What did I do? Just yeah. let me know. <laughs> No, I like to look through people. Yeah, you do, You pal. do, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's why girls walk backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave. Yeah. See you, Chris. No, dinner was fine. <laughs> you want to split the yeah. check? <laughs> oh, my don't God. Don't worry. I got it. <laughs> I don't want things to be weird about money. <laughs> yeah, dinner is into No, I don't stare. I don't stare at people. <laughs> Even that was Let's weird. Let's do a vote. What? What? I don't stare at people. Yeah. I'm I think you just get lost in your own thoughts. This is the most yeah, I've yeah, noticed yeah. this, by the way. What? How crazy you are. Yeah. Yeah, well, the, f- the weekly podcast <laughs> is really <laughs> opening up a box. Now that I'm forced to talk every week, it's really <laughs> spilling out. And Somebody like, commented that. They're like, I re- I'm really, I think it was on, like, uh, the post that I put, like, I, the, of your clip. clip yeah. And they were like, man, I'm really seeing Okami. <laughs> a really legit psychopath. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. His takes uh, are yeah. so fucking wild. It calls, it's the beauty of your, your show. You're asking questions. It's immediate content. You're always going to come up with different perspectives. Everything Tommy Hollywood com- over here all of a yeah, sudden, man. Yeah, that was a nice yeah, little, yeah. that was a nice little elevator pitch. Well, every, every, yeah. everything in content. That's what the people want. <laughs> There's you always- got two minutes and forty five grand. Let's <laughs> yeah, sit down yeah, and have lunch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It'll be my treat. Yeah, no splitsies. <laughs> anyway, Tommy loves pitching and positioning. There sure. it was, yeah. bombing an audition, right? <laughs> <laughs> Was it was the audition in London or here? No, it was here. Okay. It was in one of these. I can't believe films. they gave you eight takes at it. <laughs> Talented boy. <laughs> They're like, his face says he should be an actor, yeah, but he yeah, sucks. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, know what's yeah, going yeah, on. Totally. <laughs> Give him another you. shot. I don't know. He's a good looking we kid. We like your look in your hair. We hate your body. <laughs> the way it's moving right now. Stop Damn. shaking. These two are crazy. I know, man. They, were, they, were, they really are. <laughs> well, you guys just had Jim Gaffigan in here. I know, I know you clean the house a lot. Does, does O'Connor, is he we a mean clean? a lot all the time. That's oh, all dude. I do. You don't, does, does O'Connor keep it clean? Not at What's all. What's his room look like? Oh, it's oh, hell. He's, your room is, man. Hell yeah. Think, yeah. think about what's in his head. That's what his yeah, room looks like. That's what my room looks like. Do you keep plates and stuff like that in your room? No. Do he doesn't use plates. I picture your rooms in the plates. metaverse. He doesn't or use something. plates. He doesn't use napkins. He ca- he takes a fucking sandwich that he orders from Uber Eats or something. Yeah. Slow walks it, sits on the couch, unwraps it. <laughs> no napkin. He'll just eat like a monster. He eats like like a. Oh, would fucking... you prefer if I ran to the couch? The <laughs> That's what he's about? upset about. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's the speed the that he walks walk. to the couch. That's my issue. Yeah. Slow walking. And then he takes a bite. 
puts it like right on the table, raw, and then goes like this with his. Wait, hands. you'll just put a sandwich on the coffee <laughs> oh, yeah. table? Yeah, he yeah. Give a fuck. Oh, that's crazy. No, no, not naked. It's in the wrapper. <laughs> Trust me, you don't want to see it. I mean, it's in the wrapper. Yeah, I'll give you that. Exactly. You're supposed to unfold the wrapper and then you put your chips next to your sandwich. You, play, you get a sandwich, you see? plate the sandwich. Yes. Listen, listen. I, I don't want to get involved with this anymore. <laughs> it really wears me the fuck out. If he took this, it'll finish it. He'll put it there, and it really will never ever leave. So every meanwhile, morning, every meanwhile, morning, meanwhile, every morning, meanwhile, every morning, <laughs> meanwhile, every common closet is full of Tommy's clothes. He's got a nice wardrobe. He's got what do you shoes want? everywhere. You wear three shirts. Yeah, <laughs> go back and you watch all of his podcasts. About it. It's this you know, one. Yeah, and uh, what's the other one? The hoodie with the. What's the other one? Oh, oh Zanies. You got one pair of jeans. <laughs> what two is pairs Spaniard. of sneakers. It's just some. It's a bar. Bar, yeah. I don't know. They gave it to me. It's anyway, I think free. It's you're a, a free shirt guy. You are. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. don't buy clothes a lot. No. In fact, every time I'd buy jeans, it's a whole fucking. Where do you go? For fashions. Jeans? Fashions changed completely every time I have to buy <laughs> jeans. He's wearing bell bottoms. Yeah, yeah, what the yeah. Fuck? <laughs> There's no <laughs> chicks out here. <laughs> <laughs> I've been tripping over these Jenkos for fucking hours. Yeah. He's got all his podcast and equipment in the back pocket. <laughs> I'm like, what number is, what number is Levi's on? <laughs> Where, what's a Chris O'Connor shopping experience? They don't put the ass flap in the back anymore? What the hell is going on here? Where are my suspenders? Well, are you going to like an H&M, a Macy's, a Gap? What are you doing? Uh, last time I shopped, I hit a J. Crew, and I had Tommy Ooh. Tommy on the phone That's the whole the time. That's the Connecticut in you. The J. Crew is a little bit of Connecticut. He sent me yeah, pics yeah. and I picked out his ass. You're a J. Yeah, Crew yeah. man. I do to go to H Crew here and there. It's a little over. It's a little over price for what you get. Mm-hmm. Quality wise, is there? Tommy does dress good. You've always been put together for even yeah. like how unsuccessful you've been at period. Like we all been at periods. Thank you. He would show up to open mics <laughs> in like great. Italian boots. What was yeah. that about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that about? Is you, are you getting me back with what I said on your on our podcast? No. What? Well, I really opened up on your podcast. I was trying to compliment your podcast. And I was like, I get the thing. Oh, yeah. He and you really were like, was you don't say it. Like, yeah, 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 questions yeah, yeah. And, the, and the food and the stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be good on your show. That's you didn't say that he liked it. He yes, said, I, I, I get the whole I, thing that I, you do. Yeah, I get the whole thing <laughs> with the hand wave <laughs> that was very dismissive. Now, that Is that what you were it. doing? Because yeah. that seemed like a shot. Is that what you were getting back That's the thing I get from my father. <laughs> no, 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 I get it. Oh, get bullshit it, get show it. you're doing over there. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know that just hurt Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> I'll I think s- about that for weeks. I saw it in his face. No, I Tommy's always done well. I'm not saying you ever didn't do well. I'm saying we would be doing zero money open mics and you'd show up like in a fucking three-piece suit mostly like because i was coming off a real job in a real life <laughs> yeah. and i forgot what it was like to be a fucking zilch <laughs> you know what i mean i basically he was the, yeah, only, he was he the first to, guy i knew with a pea coat he had yeah. to have yeah he had to have the nice clothes to keep everything to keep up with appearance it's to keep a, everything moving when he's out at the bars a and facade. Stuff like that why don't you leave a hundred thousand dollar job and then you're you're fucking a park in my car in the in the lot next to helium and then I hang out with a bunch of bed bugs. You know what I mean? Eventually, I was talking like... to you in the front of the Raven one night, and he's like, "Well, you need you had just <laughs> left your job to go full time comedian in Philly, which is tough. I mean, you're doing like shows at Applebee's. This I saw is giving the me anxiety, Kevin. And he's like, "No, no, it's fine." He's like, "Yeah, we well, just hang on. Just... We're talking. You're talking in front of the, in front of the Raven. Is <laughs> no, he got a cigarette in his hand? No, we're in the bar at the Raven at the front, like at the window. Okay, there used to be that little like half ball, like by the, like that window, of the vestibule. Yeah, and we were we were going out. To I think what he had cigarette. just done is a big rail. Yeah, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. don't bring that up. He gets <laughs> we got to stop with this <laughs> in that tiny bathroom. <laughs> That used to have in, in Raven. That used to have like yeah, you could buy beers bathroom. in the toilet or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, uh, they had like a, they, there used to there was a like little a door. You window. would knock and put five dollars on it. It was a lazy Susan that would then turn around <laughs> and they would take the five dollars and replace it with a PBR and then turn it back. Yeah, so you'd go into the bathroom and order a beer. A Pretty special robot. place. There yeah. was just a guy in a broom closet back there <laughs> with a cooler <laughs> filling it up, smelling dumps every once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but, no, but you're like, what? You, I was just, I was like, how do you even do it? And you're like, you just gotta find bars that'll give you free booze. I'm like, oh, this guy's, this guy's nuts. Yeah, <laughs> his his tips for success on how to make it in comedy. <laughs> we're fine bartenders who will give you. He goes, yeah, no. place where you do shows at. Oh, oh, you drink for free. You know what I mean? Just tip him pretty good. You drink for free. That's, That's pretty good. good. Find a place on Monday. Place come on back, Tuesday. Come back on, on the, Wednesday. Come back on the weekend. You'll be all right. 
This is true. Meanwhile, you, I was in like a four hundred dollar trench coat. I'm like, okay, <laughs> Mr. Pope. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't be bopping around the different bars. You got to find one bar, <laughs> yeah. and you got to know the shit. You are very <laughs> loyal. I went to that place with you guys in Queens last week, man. They yeah. walked in. They were like, Tommy. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. You take care of them. They won't charge you the beer. All the tip money goes right to them, and then uh, you feel out, you, you, yeah. you feel out of cycle. Kip, let's talk about all form. All form. Yep. You think you might not know it, but you do know it. It's a Helix company. It's a Helix Ooh. company. Helix is now added a bedroom and in to the sofa game oh, baby. with all form. You got to check it out. Absolutely fantastic. You won't be steered wrong. Yeah, guys, it's the easiest way you can customize a sofa using premium materials at a fraction of the cost of traditional stores. We got one right over there. Sitting Cody, right there. Cody got one. They sent it here. Many I, a nap on that thing. I put it together by myself. It, it's like putting together a fucking Lego set. It's easy peasy. Easy. Uh, you can, you can do it by yourself. All different colors, finishes, whatever you want, pillows, sectionals. And the best thing about it is if you change apartments, you, you get a new roommate or whatever, you can get a you can extend it. You can just keep adding to it. You Pretty know sweet. I mean? Um, like I said, we love it. Big fan. It's it's the only couch here at Tootie's. It's nice. I called her passed out smoking a cig on it the other day. I had to wake careful. her up. Be uh, All Form also has financing and flexible payment plans, so an amazing sofa is never far away. They even offer a forever warranty, literally forever. Wow. To get your perfect sofa, check out allform.com slash garbage. All Form is offering 20% off all orders for our listeners at allform.com slash garbage. One more time, allform.com slash garbage. Do it. Kip, let's talk about Black Buffalo, baby. Black Buffalo. You know, I got a lot of folks out there like to, uh, you know, how do I say this? Uh, pack a lipper. A little chewy. Pack a dip. A you dinger. know what I mean? Yeah, packing lips. Hey, listen, when you're young, time, whatever, get older, you got to get away from that stuff. Uh-huh. But there's an alternative to everything these days. And yeah, Black Buffalo can help. Yes, if you're tw- if you're 21 or over and you dip or chew tobacco, pouches are long cut, don't matter. You have to try this tobacco alternative, Black Buffalo. Uh, try it. It's Get every- off it. It's everything you love about dipping. Include the uh, pharmaceutical-grade nicotine just without the actual tobacco stem or leaf. There you go. They sell their products at blackbuffalo.com. It's available both long cut and pouches. If you're looking uh, to ditch nicotine and tobacco, tap into their nicotine-free options called Zero. They got you covered. Look at that. If you want it, you don't want it. They got you. Subscription comes to your door, the flavors, the whole nine yards. Kind of set it and forget it type thing. What gets it for me? Born in the Midwest, raised in the South. These are good old boys down there. Black Buffalo (laughs) proudly manufactures their products right here in the U.S. of A. Local, no comedy like stuff. It. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, they they sent us it. I have. We've tried it. So check it out. Uh, it's a new year, and if you are one of the ten million people who are twenty one and over and dip tobacco, consider turning over a new leaf and switching to black buffalo. It's everything you love about dipping, just without the actual tobacco stem or leaf. Uh, head to blackbuffalo.com. Use promo code garbage for checkout for twenty five percent off your first order. Nice, that's the best offer you'll find. But if you have to use our code garbage for twenty five percent off your first order, one last time, promo code garbage twenty five percent off your first order. Do it. Yeah. yeah. Is he now? Is he now starting to ride along? On, oh yeah. On these. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I brought the boy. Yeah. yeah. Yep. What do you two do on a normal night? Well, when I was there, I can. I can. O'Connor pooped at the bar. Oh my God! Tommy I was, threw up. Tommy went into the bathroom. It smelled so bad that he then threw up in the bar. And the next one, the next bathroom, two bathrooms next to each other. He and came this is, out. This was just after we had a podcast going. You don't shit in public. You don't. It's, there's never a reason outside of eating raw chicken. You should never be dumping in public. You should Wait, never that's smell your rule? shit and puke. Yes, that's my point. We gotta get you to a doc. No, <laughs> something's no, not right down there, dude. It was like the reptile section of the zoo. It was yeah, so no. fun. <laughs> <laughs> I got, he did it on news nah. like getting hit in the face with a shit shovel. Nah, he's just too I, was like, I can't. I just started dry heaving. And I threw up in the next. The next. Uh... Wait, what anyway, do you mean we... you don't poop in public? You don't poop in public? Never. That's insane. No, it you, is insane. You figure out your own schedule and you work around that. And if you if if, if you have something set when you normally go and your bowel movements. You, you you move your schedule around that. If you got to go to the what zoo if you go to like a music festival? <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. Okay. <laughs> Get a job. Long You're not hair. 18. Yeah. yeah what a weird thing to say, man. <laughs> well, porta potties. Oh, porta potties like a football game. You're shitting at a football game. I'll shit. If I have to shit, I'm shitting. I, oh, I mean, he just shit at a bar, and there was four people in the yeah, bar. Yeah, <laughs> he he was he was he was 25 percent of the patrons. He got up and left for like 45 minutes, <laughs> and I'm like, where the fuck is O'Connor? We had done like four shots. I'm like, where the fuck is O'Connor? Well, it's either that or I have to leave. 
Uh, I get. I I'm not opposed to it. I yeah. understand. I, when you're hemmed up, you gotta, you know, you gotta take care of it. For I didn't. Sure. I didn't realize Tommy would go in there and intentionally <laughs> <Yeah>. smell it. <laughs> intentionally. Just, yeah, you went There's in there. You knew exactly what one. happened in there. You went in there to smell it. He does That's that all awesome. the time. He smells. Something. I respect it, <laughs> dude. The first. The, the, the first oh. time. The first time I was able to go away and stay, go on vacation with my friend's family. All right, real nice place down the shore. They had <laughs> fucking grandparents, Imagine taking brother and sister. Day. Yeah, a I'm like twelve year old. Oh, uh, I'm like twelve years old. I'm real insecure, real low. Can I have some more mac and cheese, please, yeah. Mrs. Robinson. Not, <laughs> not until your shirt dries off. <laughs> <laughs> You know he, you know he's pool hopping with a shirt on. <laughs> no, you never. Can't wear your wet clothes on never. the couch, Henry. <laughs> never. That. We're not gonna get the security deposit. That's a fucking back. disgrace to fat kids. I, you always take your shirt off. You fat kids out there, you fucking bite the bullet. Yeah. Show them who you are. No, yeah. Never go in there with a t-shirt on. I yeah. did it once or twice, probably Loser. around eleven. And the second I got oh in, my God. it makes that suction. It's I'm a like, condom. I'm like, this yeah. is bad. It's this crazy. Is bad. Yeah. It's it crazy. Makes, it look makes your titties look even worse. I know. Yeah. Or better. Anyway, I get we get down there first night, all right, and I had to fucking poop really bad. And it was like a little shore house, so the fucking bathroom is right off the living room. I'm talking whole family. The grandma, the grandma, the mom, the dad, the hot older sister. Everybody's in there. We're all watching fucking TV or whatever it was. I go in there and dump. I come out like 15 <laughs> minutes later, try to blend back into the couch. You know what I mean? Like I was Start there laughing the or something. I try to hop in the story. <laughs> Great little hop up. I was here the whole time. <laughs> come out with a plate of hot hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> It was not great. Oh. Puff pastries, anyone? Yeah, just slide a frozen But my boy, the just to be a dick, fucking goes in the bathroom and then oh. comes out and he goes, Oh my <laughs> God, Henry! In front of the whole fucking family. And I haven't shit since. Did they laugh? <laughs> Did they laugh? No. See, it that's awkward. Fuck those people. Yeah, no, I agree with awkward. that. Fuck those people. People take shit. No, they felt bad for me. They were like, What the hell? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all about the, the, the courtesy. You, you have to flush as soon as things happen. I, I let it 12, out. Twelve. That's it. Let it out. Flush. People then you wipe. You clean up. Scuff- I mean, I some, Connie, I imagine the- you want it to. You want it, You want everybody. You want everybody to know. No, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to push it on people. <laughs> I'm not trying to people get people to smell it. It's your mixed But it's just like it's a <laughs> it's a natural human thing. Sure. You're gonna get mad because you smell some farts. Fuck you. It really bothers me. <laughs> it really bothers me. It's we'll just like, dude, it, this shit happens. We'll get over it. Yeah. I understand. So is that a typical night? You ever have someone get no, mad? No, typical at a bar than them we, get, we, almost we, get in yeah. a fist fight? We film yeah. on Tuesdays, and then we usually go to the bar yeah. down the street for a couple pops with the guests, and then uh, and fuck off home. Yeah. He usually edits two, three nights a week. Mm-hmm. We got this cooking show How many show nights are you going out together? <sighs> Four or five. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we're, we're close. Yeah. This is all I got. Yeah, we have a good time. We have a great time. Yeah. It's when fun. You keep your bowel movement, Tim. We were fucking, we really hit it off. <laughs> well, well, no more I, shit in the Denny's, I'll tell you that. Again. Wait, also, what? you were about, I forgot, we didn't, Matt, you were about to steal that drink that night. You were, you were about to steal the pint glass. Do you remember that? No. Yeah. He was walking out. He had about a half a pint glass. And he goes, all right, I'll see you later. Like, you were like, all right, I'll see you. And you had it. And she's like, all right, see you, Tommy. And I saw your conscience kick in. <laughs> and you're like, okay, I'll see you. <laughs> what, I just back. Down? Yeah, and then cleaned up the glasses because you felt bad. I don't think I did that. I Are you a I, pint I glass dealer? I've stolen pint glasses in sure. my past. Yeah. Habitually, like, though. No, no. I, I used to do it from that place, Bards in Philly, because they had those nice oh, little tulip yeah. glasses. Yeah, they were cool. They had some real interesting tulip glasses with brand names on them. So I put a couple, and I hated the fucking bartender. I hated them. Yeah. And I hated the bar. So I was like, yeah, fuck you, you know? Yeah, I agree. I'm going to take a couple of these home. Do Let's... you steal anything else? No. Do you steal? I can picture you stealing. Mm. You look like a convenience store stealer. I or like a 401k I, or I can't something. stand. I don't steal. <laughs> <laughs> Calling an old lady. <laughs> Scamming her. I got a Your couple... son was arrested. <laughs> I got a couple scams. I got a couple scams that I run. Well, what do you got? Currently? What? Well, Ter- a, group, a board group one. What? Oh, yeah. One. He told me about this. What came in handy was. Regardless of what group you were in, if you just board group one. How? You just, just walk, walk on. You just ignore it. You yeah. Just, and they scan your ticket. It's very odd that they'll say, sir, we're just boarding group one right now. You're group three. Yeah. Well, really, go, oh, there's, shit, there's probably sorry. a thing if they scan it. No, they no, gotta let you in. They always scan That's it. what I'm saying. Like, you can't, like, scan it and then go, like, that. then that's it. You're boarded. No, I yeah, got shut yeah. down once. 
after they scanned I it? I tried to board for group two when I was group like five. Oh, man. And she's like, you're not, you're not ready. Well, yet. there's some, there's always group one five person. Is a tough group. Yeah, that's what I usually am, dude. It's I'm like a group five. We're yes. still wiping that section oh, yeah, down. I'm always, Go to our Patreon. And get me to group two at least, dude. <laughs> yeah, check out their Patreon. <laughs> I'm always group seven. Seven. There's no fucking. I seven. check in an hour before the flight. Is that what that has to do with? Yeah, it's when you check in. It's when you buy. It's your ticket. Yeah, yeah, it's what ticket. Yeah, how, what level it's, of dirt bag you are? Well, group one, you can't if you group one is like select people. But I think groups like three through seven are kind of like when you check in. That might be. Like if you check in late, they dump you. Why don't yeah. they just put fucking the back of the plane to the front of the plane? Well, they started doing that during COVID because the front of the plane people pay more. Yeah. So they get on first. They want to sit. Because it's the overhead relax. space too. Why do they want to They're already sitting. No, they, it's the overhead space because if you're in the back of the plane... Oh, you yeah, run out over right. and they check well, your well, back. You Plus, if I'm if I'm paying if back. I'm paying for first class, you, you want, want that to, seat. They want you want them to see you. I want them to fucking yes. see me. They want your yeah. fucking fat ass. The same people that are judging you. <laughs> fucking in line, dirt bag. Dunkin Donuts. They were like this guy probably bought two seats. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's there, that's, that's me right now. I'm doing my part. Yeah. And I really ham it up. I got I to go sideways. The bag's over my head. My tits are hanging out. <laughs> I really, yeah, I, they sugar. really get their money's worth. Sometimes they ask me to walk back so they can feel better. Send that fat kid up here again. <laughs> <laughs> this time get some champagne around. Remember that one lady made fun of you asked for the seatbelt extender and the one lady made funny? That was mean. I've made a lot of fat jokes at your expense. <laughs> What'd she say? I don't know. It was something. Like, oh, yeah, of course. Or it was something you were like, oh, God. You're like that fucking bitch. <laughs> she fucking shamed, she shamed yeah. you? Yeah, I think so. I can't remember what I it was. I forget what the line was. But it was like... Uh, I don't know, but I'm suing. <laughs> she yeah, chuckled. Shout out to Let's get crazy. this bitch canceled. <laughs> I forget what it was. I forget where we were coming from, too. Oh. I just want free cookies. <laughs> yeah. Those are dynamite. The biscotti? Yeah, the nice. No. Is it yeah, Biscoff? The, yeah, Biscoff. Biscotti. Yeah, that's the brand, right? They're like cinnamon. Yeah, yeah they things. stink. Oh, I love them. They're terrible. I love what? them. And I found out you can order them. Biscotti in general, Without right? Taking a flight. Terrible. You can just order a box right from the company. Hold on. Slow down. I kind of don't like any of them. From What do you mean? Your box. Yeah. The company that they... Where'd you get a wife at? <laughs> you can order Biscoffs from directly from the... Uh, the pilot drops them off. The, Bis- yeah, the Biscoff the... factory. <laughs> no, Biscoff, <laughs> Biscoff is, a, is a company. Like, make... she's a you idiot. Yeah. It's not... Delta that didn't buy the company. They, they just use... It's, a... it's owned by Hudson News. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's an organization that makes cookies in a factory. And it has the contract for Delta. Him yeah, Delta that's all it hands. is. Yeah. Mr. Biscoff was like, how many do you want? And he's like, You've never seen all. those and you can just order them. Put some them aside the for the people at home that want them. Tommy, you can just get them in a store. You don't got to get on the plane. So I'm That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm telling you. You're saying you order. Them. I think you, you think. I think you yeah. think Delta owns this. Tommy's cookie flying cross country just for a couple of cookies. Am I fucked up here? Now hold on a Are second. Are you picking any of this up? We got to go back. What's your fucking problem with biscotti? It tastes like shit. Yeah, it's it's I feel it's like rich. Nightmare. It's like rich. European cookies. You're crazy. He just got give, me a, give me he a got fucking, give me a Chips Ahoy. Yeah. I, I'm an Intimates. I'm not saying an Oreo. Like a I'm a fucking American. A Intimates. nice chocolate covered biscotti is nice. What are you, you talking about? Yeah. You dip it in your coffee. It's got better than, cashews, better than it. Gentlemen. Better it's got than cashew. Lanzette. Ooh, the Lanzette. A little dip real quick into a cream coffee. Because <laughs> I, I used to like Stella Dora breakfast treats when yeah, I was Yeah, me too. I almost bought a bag yesterday. Yeah. It's all different multi-flavored they're real Cookies. old school fucking with the long bars. Shit. No, no, that's biscotti. That's biscotti. But you know what? Stella I'm Dora about. is a mix. Stella bag. Dora is a company, it's got like and one they have one they have the shape. bunch of different shit. It's yeah, real one old shape school like a pretzel. Stuff. Oh, one that I mean, you those, got me with the pretzel. I'm a big pretzel guy. Yeah, those are. Oh uh, no, you're right. talking about Dangst. Yeah, I'm talking about these. No, 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 no. Stella no. Dora. Stella Dora. Google Stella Dora. How do you spell Dora? Stella Dora has like frostings and shit on it. It's like flavored. Stella Doro? Yeah, Stella Doro. That's them. Oh, get oh, out of yeah, here. That shit sucks. No fucking. Hey, Mussolini, kick rocks. <laughs> all right? That shit stinks. I've never even. No way would that, that, that fly in my household. Wait, no. hold on. Hold on. I think Those that, things? No. I think the margaritas. I think the margaritas are. That actually. whole brand go is ahead. a no fly zone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go it's ahead. the brand. They have their own little aisle, they have their own little no. thing. That's There's no way the piece was buying that as a kid. There's no packaging. It's no just way. Plastic. That's European shit. <laughs> yeah. Get out of here. No fucking We're just in an Italian wow. Oreo right now. Oh, dude, we used to These love them. I don't like cannolis either. Yeah, I could have saw that coming. <laughs> yeah. The palate of a child. What are you talking about? <laughs> Ch- children love cannolis. Yeah, they, they should. It's a very nice cookie. <laughs> what did you <laughs> get when you were a kid? You didn't have a nice cannoli when you were a kid? Yeah, like a devil dog. 
All right. All right. That's not <laughs> devil bad. Dog. What's a devil dog? Is that the chocolate That's one the, with the, the cream? The chocolate with yeah. the cream. Yeah, That's yeah, all yeah, right. Yeah. Nah. I like a regular Entenmann's coffee cake. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> honeycomb. <laughs> Wait, honeycomb cereal? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you like this guy's <laughs> a handful of honeycomb? <laughs> this guy's jumping categories. You, yeah, well, he yeah, got so he, nervous about having a third option. You, yeah, strike, yeah. you strike me as a dry cereal kind of kid. No. Sit there and eat cereal dry like a psycho. <laughs> no, I soak the shit Fucking out of sugar it. pops yeah. and a black coffee. Yeah. <laughs> and a grapefruit. Psycho. Sugar pops were the, the shit. The only cereal dude. I ever ate dry was uh, regular Cheerios. You know, like a little snack pack? Yeah. Yeah, in a bag? Yeah. Oh, when you school. were six months old? <laughs> what? What you yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was a baby, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, even, I had two teeth I also one didn't have teeth. Yeah. No, I just, I yeah, I, I, you know, I can't make anything. Yeah. Yeah, I can't take the, I, the time... So I just eat regular. Well, if you check out our cooking show. So yeah. yeah, run what is the cooking show? It's just it's Chris and I in the kitchen pretty much following uh following Tommy the cooking and Chris being crazy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and every now and then Chris, Chris will go, without plates. Oh yeah. Yeah. Every time it, he like does You shit. don't know how to cook at all? No, I, I do. If you if you set me to a task, I do it pretty good. Well uh, we are this is how the chicken parm first episode I'm came. I'm a good up. cheese grater. Oh yeah, yeah. He he can he can, can he can offer services. He doesn't know how to cook. I, yeah, yeah. Like I can't. I, did, yeah. yeah. No, you say. Yeah, he's just he, he's my fucking foreman. You know what I mean? She's yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. if I own, he's Johnny on the spot in the kitchen. I'm if I own Biscoffs, yeah, yeah. He, he's, he's guy, holding the flashlight in your dad. Can you yeah. make eggs? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Go get me a dustpan. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. O'Connor, can you make eggs? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can make egg. I can. Yeah, I can make eggs. I can make pancakes. I can make. You can make pancakes. I can cook You've bacon. You've never like... made eggs once in the house. You've been there two years. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna show <laughs> off my skills. Make <laughs> I can make them. I, I don't just... want anybody ripping off my style. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm working on a cookbook. <clears throat> no, I don't like cleaning up, and now it's even worse because you know. I, uh... So what do you do for breakfast? You wake up in the morning. Uh, what what time are you? I peg you was like a nooner. You get I feel like social uh, services should be called or something. Yeah, I was getting, but you guys should get just I wellness a little checks bit every lately, couple but of I've been weeks. Get, I was getting up at like 9 or 10 there for a while. Now depends now on the workload. Getting, depends yeah, on the, yeah. the night load. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We've been boozing it up quite a bit. We had a nice, we so had a nice happy bad. run with the start of the Patreon where we got excited and yeah. watched editing. You, you guys. Of I remember Shane coming in one night and he was like, yeah, I read this book. Because he, like, he was ex- exper- re-experiencing of the course. beginning of the start. Yeah. Well, it's like, you know, yeah, you're finally having like, success starts cooking. A little bit of something good. You two are good, sitting on the couch you know, in $5,000 know, yeah. $5, suits. <laughs> 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 There's a, Pac-Man, cereal? there's a yeah. Pac-Man machine behind you. <laughs> That's the thing. You're both that... sitting in race cars. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's he's gonna. You're gonna get fancy as fuck. Probably. I'm still gonna be sleeping on top of my laundry. Yeah. <laughs> but, no, it's a very yeah. simple idea. Idea that's it's been done a million fucking times. But uh, you know, the concept I have is like no one's really married comedy and cooking appropriately and correctly. Mm-hmm. So where you're giving advice in an entertaining way that's like both informative, you know, funny as fuck. I hope at some at certain points, and then also like fun to watch. Yeah, C- cooking in the background of any sh- any house is like always just fun to to do and absorb. I guess I don't know. And this yeah, is gonna yeah, be this just... is gonna be on the stuff island Patreon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right now it's because it's it's a lot of work for Chris. There's three camera setups, the edits. John Nunn's helping us. You need a T bone. You need a T. We, we do, do need, need a T bone. We need, yeah, we need an editor. He's just, not for sale. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> well, no. maybe. We got a couple guys that- uh, Or that crazy. About, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. So it's, once we get two or three or four episodes out, I think we'll have an idea of like the theme, the format. It's going to take some growing pains. And I, I just, I think people are going to fucking like it. Cause yeah. I, I, I've consumed so many hours of fucking cooking shows. Yeah. That I know what's missing in terms of just a unique flair or like just Tommy likeability. fucking Hollywood. Dude, dude, Here honestly, he is. he is good. I know what's missing. Tommy's good in the kitchen, too. Dude, he's good in the I kitchen. I saw him. I saw him. You made a short rib one time. Blew my socks off. Yeah. That's, that's real nice. He's case. got the good stuff. He's got the good He's pots. got a nice knife, too. You were flashing he's that knife. He's got a good around. knife. I spent a lot of money during quarantine. Yeah. I literally all my savings on all. I want to talk to you. I want to pull the trigger on some kitchen stuff. Yeah. You have right. the, you have I'll those you, you have those colored pots. Yeah, the Le, Le Creuset. Yeah, yeah, I got, I got two of them. Yeah, they, they're lifetime pots. What do you mean? The pot. French. They, they don't, that'll never chip. It's a non-stick surface, pretty, pretty much. And the, 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 the cook, the concentrated cook is, is all the way through the iron. It's not like you, you'll never have burn spots. Really? Yeah, it's fluid all the way through, top to bottom, <laughs> side to side. 
This is the kind of stuff you're gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dude, on the podcast, you know, what, you like, know what happens? You're like, I'm pretty sure he knows what he's talking about, <laughs> but also maybe not. Yeah, but let's talk about ladder. Ladder. Let's talk about the uncertainty of uh, of the world today. These are wacky times we're living in. They're wacky, kooky times. Need I think a little bit of a safety net. Need a little bit of a safety net. A lot of people get scared away term life, but you want to get yourself some insurance. You want to make it term life. And you want to take care of the ones that you love. Yes. Ladder is 100% digital. No doctors, no needles, no paperwork. When None. You, when you apply for $3 million in coverage or less, just there a few go. minutes on a phone or laptop. Uh, ladder smart algorithms work in real time to find out if you're instantly approved. No waiting around. Look at that. No driving to some bozo's place, mm. or, you know, a strip mall or anything. Uh, and you can finally, uh, life insurance costs more as you age. Now's the time to cross it off your Make list. Make a move, baby. No hidden fees. Cancel at any time. It's easy peasy. Uh, ladder policies are issued by insurers with long proven histories of paying claims. They're rated A and A plus by AM best. It's nice. That's pretty good, I think. Not too shabby. Uh, I'm more of an FM man myself. So <laughs> go to ladderlife.com slash garbage today to see if you're instantly approved. That's ladder, L A D D E R, life.com slash garbage. Ladderlife.com slash garbage. Do it. Kip, athletic greens, athletic greens, athletic greens. We ain't talking athletic blues, baby. Let me tell you something. What's I saw an ad for them uh-huh. somewhere else before they became a sponsor. Yeah. And I was intrigued. You were all over it. And then when I found out that they came on board uh-huh. and sent us some, yeah. I was they into it. They were knocking it. on my door looking for the stuff. I've taken it every single day since we've had it. Mm-hmm. I'm, I haven't had coffee. Yeah. All right. Gut health, mm-hmm. immunity, energy. Basic nutrients, oh, absolutely fantastic. Tastes great, too. I can sit there and sip it. Mm-hmm. It's not something that I have to pound down. I can sit and sip it. Yeah, maybe on the rocks or something. It has a great taste, man. I'm telling you, it's uh, all right. Yeah, guys, it's lifestyle friendly, whether you eat keto, paleo, vegan, dairy-free, or gluten-free. Uh, AG1's got you covered. Uh, tons of people take some kind of multivitamin and support and choose one with high-quality ingredients that your body actually absorbs, and AG1 has mm-hmm. you covered. They got even little packets for if you're on the go. Uh, it costs less than $3 a day. You're investing in your health, and it's cheaper than your cold brew habit you got. There you go. Um, Athletic Greens has over 7,000 five-star reviews, recommended by professional athletes, trusted by leading health experts such as Tim Ferriss and Michael Jervis. Gervais. Take that. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. There you go. Put that in your green juice. What else do you need to hear? <laughs> um, Right now, it's uh, time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition, especially heading into cold and flu season. Absolutely. It's just one scoop and a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills all over the place, supplements um, to look after your health. But they give you a cool bottle. You shake it up. It's right there. It's like I got a cool package. Athletic Greens nice. is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune support and vitamin D that I kept and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash garbage. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash garbage to take ownership of your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Now back to the show. Yeah. (laughs) No, Tommy literally is like... You can tell he's been doing this show in his head for probably three years. Well, I've also (laughs) got a lot of shows going on on since I was a kid. It's like... And like I get, I get Chris eyes. I get those Chris beady fucking psychopathic eyes when I start talking about yeah. it because I'm so intense about it. And I just, I think there's a there's a misconception about high end cooking uh, that low end people can't do. You know what I mean? There's like classy dishes that they think the trash can't do, and the trash people are like I would never attempt that. It's like sure, there, there's this middle ground. I like that this. It's not even touched. I like this. And you could do these these dishes like that short rib ragu mm-hmm. that if you took to a party or a, a, a holiday, people would be like fucking blown away. Mm-hmm. And it's simple. It just takes a little effort, a little time, a little precision, and you'll never forget the fucking dish. Yeah, like yeah. Fucking it. Gary V in the kitchen. Know, Anybody do. can do it. Just start cooking. I, just well, like I don't it. talk like a dickhead like this. I just I'll give like very. You have simple never tips. been to the type of type of party you're describing. But <laughs> I, awesome. I, I let like that it. slide. Well, yeah. I'm trying. You're at a bar getting I, hammered. No, yeah. when the, uh, Stacey the last, Singh was tonight. The last time I've had like something like barbecues out back, it you know I I, I treat my comedy friends like of I course would, like I always would have won it. At a family party, sure. Instead of like a, ba- a bag of pretzels, and I my know. Mom but would you put like just, chips and a napkin. You painted mask, a very chips and a napkin. You, that's it. My childhood. That's it. Yeah. Oh yeah. And then like a deli meat that would sweat like my fat uncle. Mm-hmm. You know, that would just be laid out until people just thought you couldn't eat it because the cheese got bad. It's like no, that's when it gets good. You fucking. I eat remember it. the first time I had wet cheese. My yeah. aunt Karen's well, house. So it was like ninety two. I'll never the, forget that the, feeling. That's the solidified fats. Uh, uncoagulating, so my, it comes to the surface and opens out. My favorite platter was not with a not like I like I like a hoagie tray. 
Yeah. But back in the day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it wasn't Primo's. It was like fucking Wawa or some dog shit like Spring Shop or something. Sure. Yeah, shop they right. did all right though. But what I'm saying <laughs> they did all right. No, they I like the one that wasn't that wasn't made when it was just slices in a row. You do it yourself. Yeah, yeah. Couple there was always a couple slices of rye yeah. bread and there was no yeah, mayo. Yeah, it was always own? straight mustard, no yeah. lettuce, tomato. Yeah. Real old school. Yeah. I'm actually gonna do an Italian hoagie uh probably in the next like month. Because there's there's certain ways to make a really high end hoagie that uh, that you won't have to worry about ordering anymore. I'll tell you this about New York. There's no good fucking. There's no good comfort. <laughs> a really what? high end hoagie. Worry. You're not ordering anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! You're, Yo, the, listen, you're the sham wow guy. Yeah. Huh? All right, what are you gonna do? You gonna waste all that money you're on cold get, cuts? He, what are you gonna do? You're gonna get caught biting a hooker too in Miami. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what That's happened what he to him? Did. He bit a she, hooker's no, nose or something. She bit his tongue. She bit his tongue. Yeah, he was all fucking yacked out doing the crack with some hooker, and she bit his tongue. Yeah, when they I were didn't pissing. think it was Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> well, we you all have up, our weekends. You don't end up biting fucking hookers. There's no. On Red Bull. There's no. We live in a story where there's all the different cultures and cuisines, which is wonderful. But there's no American comfort food on that you can rely on. There's like two places that have a, a yeah, decent hoagie. Queens stinks. A I decent hoagie. No, Queen, I like Queens. That's not what I'm saying. Queens is nice. Great. Philly, it's by far, we've had this conversation on the road, by far the greatest sandwich location, station. It's great. Yeah. I mean, you, you, there's there's two or three places. Even that, in the suburbs, just I a place you- He doesn't taste so. What are you talking about? You spent two years. You, go, you, 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 never, you fucking, lived there for 20 years. Hey, Jersey Mike, zip it. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> fucking low life? Get yeah. out of here. I'm just no, saying. You're putting American cheese on an Italian sub, I can tell. <laughs> you go to any fucking neighborhood around Philly, every any bozo sandwich game down is, all, is all right. It's good. I'm not putting cheese on anything. <laughs> Somebody else is putting it on, <laughs> and I'm buying it. He, no, no, no joke. <laughs> I'm not making myself no, a One sandwich. of the things this animal does, and then we'll move on. I'm sorry about talking too much. He gets it's a in, podcast, Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's be silent. What the fuck, Tommy? Tommy, he, we're not the he feds. Gets, he gets a bacon. It, Tommy, gets, this is our 192nd episode. Keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> we're gassed. <laughs> it's not true. He gets a bacon, egg, and cheese when he gets up or whatever, and then he only eats half, and then he puts the other half in the back where he does his editing, just lets it sit there, and he'll finish that second half of bacon, egg, and cheese at like 10 p.m. I don't. I've done that. Yes. I'm okay with that. I've too. done the fatter Nuts. version. Yeah. I buy two, uh, okay I eat one it. and a half, and then save that. Yeah, the well, that's wild. No. You'll just you don't let have that to. fucking sit Get out. a little air yeah. on it. You, you don't know? have to. You've got to air it out. It's like a scab. Because it's on a bagel. <laughs> you put a bagel in the fridge. Get some air on that thing. You put a bagel in the fridge, it's over. Exactly. No, and then you put it back in the oven. you got to get crisp on the no, outside. No, see, this is what I'm talking about. It's like, who's got what? time? What? Putting it back in the oven? What are you, nuts? You guys... What are you, Emerald? I'm anyway, not fucking tune in to that. not be fucking stupid. If you want to learn something, it'll be great. It is true. I will say that uh, it is. I I will make cachoe pepe. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's very make who? Uh, we, he taught me how to make cachoe pepe. Yeah, it's, it's, a it's a dish. Tuscan dish. It's like a yeah. famous Tuscan dish. It's just three. Cat Joey Pepe. I don't like the Cacio. fact you said Tuscan. Cat Joey Pepe. Yeah, he made it sound like three guys you owe money to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, Fat Joey and Pepe. <laughs> <laughs> they run the book out of the bar we go to. <laughs> Come, he's stealing pint glasses. It was his dad's now book. Him. He passed it down. Yeah. He's the guy be- behind that rotunda of beer with fucking <laughs> Raven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Looking for Fat Joey to catch you. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him I want 20 on a bag. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and two PBRs while you're back there. <laughs> anyway, all right. Let's get into some we gotta questions. We got to get into a little, couple of questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we got, got these two here. We, we got to ask some questions. Yeah. All right. All right. This is from Andrew. First, guys, so as you know, when you sign up for Patreon, we will answer your garbage questions. It's just the best way to do it. We get hit up, you know, through so many other ways, but the Patreon gets first crack in it. Um, shout out. This is from Andrew. First question. Long time homie. Ever had to testify in court in front of a jury? Tommy, I'm looking at you for some reason. <laughs> no. My closest court situation was uh, I got hit in the face with a bottle in the greatest bar for Was this church time. or something? Yeah. <laughs> And the kid got clipped coming back from his honeymoon like three years later. And I had to go to With court a to press charges. Yeah. And, uh, and I, on the way to, to court, I called my brother. And my brother's like, what are you doing? This kid, you're fucking 23 years old. Was three years fight. ago? No, three years after three the years fight. Three years after the fight. That's what I'm saying. No, this was I was 26. And uh, I was apparently choking his friend out. And the friend was like, this... I saw a second. I'm not really supposed to talk about this because I had to remove it from another uh, podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, well, I mean, be vague then. 
Yeah, so apparently the guy I <laughs> hit was him. December 24th, 1980. <laughs> <laughs> Dim the lights, will you? <laughs> no, it's, it was a huge bar fight. Everything was working perfectly. The first three guys I hit, out. It was fucking beautiful. And I was like, I was 190. I was like another 30 pounds of fucking muscle. This is like just after baseball lifting heavy days for no goddamn reason. I'd stick some. I was built like SpongeBob square pants. I had tiny legs, no legs, just, but I was, it went all up here. So much for being specific. <laughs> anyway, I knocked his couple friends out. He was out, wearing a blue shirt. And the dude <laughs> I had. I'm about 178 pounds right now. Maybe 170 out of the shower. I, I don't know. I got my cleats 174. on. And then I got behind this one dude, and I, t- I took him off a friend, and this dude that I recognized, because we were down the shore together at a shore, shore house party, and I was like, go help Chris. He was now he's sh- bringing up a second location. He was getting, no, it was, it, was a, it was in Roxborough, that place that had three different layers. <laughs> All right, I think uh, you've already Guys, violated the terms of your No, I never, I, never, I never testified in front of anyone, but I did tell the guy I'm not pressing charges in the courthouse. I had to be an expert. Ah, so okay. I dropped all the charges, and the kid was like, oh, thank you so much. Because it's like, it's intent with a But weapon. this was three years after this happened. It was three years after the bar fight because he, they couldn't find him. Jesus. And then he went on his honeymoon. And when he came back to the country. When he came back in, you got to go Interpol through security. They ran God his damn, name. Really? And then I had so I know to... I'm clean if I came back into the States. Yeah, you're good. There's nothing. There's no warrants. Nice. Yeah. I mean, what do you, you have to get arrested what do you think or pulled was... over to get your warrant. Dangerous man. Okay. Toby, I'm sorry. I had like 17 coffees. It was a long story. But I've been in court. <laughs> and Chris, I, I, now, believe, I believe Chris just said he was an expert witness. I was an expert witness. He's yeah. like, I haven't been caught yet, but I will well, no. see my I will see my day Dude, in court. <laughs> <laughs> They'll find the body. Yeah, for sure. yeah, yeah. Once they find her head under his clothes in his bedroom. <laughs> no, yeah, I was called. I, I, when my brother was in law school, I went down to visit him in New Orleans, and. Uh, he was like, can you be like an expert witness in like moot court or whatever? It was like, the, you know, it was like kids practicing. And I was like, yeah, fine. And I went in there and like, uh, you know, I didn't, I read over like who I was supposed to be for oh, fucking just a script? 20 minutes. Yeah. But like, I didn't spend any time. Hey, we're not about talking it. about some school play here. No, right? no, we're <laughs> no, no. We're talking I was in the guy. on the we're roof talking, too. Right? <laughs> we're talking bottles to the Yo, face, dude. grand jury testimony. <laughs> yeah. You got the balls to cut me off for this? Oh, shit. <laughs> the story I hit was over. Her, I hit on her car for 45 minutes while cops were around a parking lot. <laughs> Some show your brother's sorority was doing. Listen, <laughs> zip it, all right? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, Talking about wiretaps and fucking Rico charges. <laughs> Not the fucking debate team. <laughs> I thought it'd be a nice story. <laughs> <laughs> then we all got ice cream after, which was great. <laughs> they put up a hell of an argument. They did. They were poking holes in my testimony. What, am I going to say no to free pizza? <laughs> <laughs> I know the pizza and soda. 100%. So, yeah, there was no ice involved. No ice. Yeah. Uh, Warm temperature orange soda. They would, You know they would cut it in a weird way to get yeah. more mileage yeah. out of it, too? Yeah. Nothing pisses me off more than that. Uh-huh. There was no pizza. There was no soda. <laughs> the guy fucking cross-examined me for 30 minutes. He was 13. And I'm just making shit up. Uh, and then he's like, but you put in a sworn affidavit. And I had to be like, dude, that's I'm not. That's not my signature. <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, I'm not a real person. Yeah. We're going to we're gonna need a handwriting expert in here. Oh, God, he had a set of <laughs> He just puts a pair of glasses on. That is not my handwriting. Hey, dork. <laughs> no, this he is turns pretend. his face. He's, it's a lady wearing a wig. With... <laughs> <laughs> like fucking Bronson and uh, what's his face in Bronson? Oh, man. <laughs> What your else brother, you got? Did your brother? <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's. What... <laughs> he got a little John Wayne in him. I like it. Did your brother ever graduate and yeah. become a lawyer? Yeah. Your brother's a lawyer. Yeah. What kind of like practicing like criminal law or is he no, like no, no. mergers it's... and acquisitions or something? Ah, uh, yeah. It's like states and trusts and stuff like that. That's where the money is. Yeah. A little bit I of think. Key. I think. I think. I'm not sure actually. It's definitely not. God damn it, dude. Yeah. It was a lefty under. The lefty under. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> uh, Radio, right miss. This one's great. This is from Thomas. Ever gave yourself food poisoning? Have you ever cooked something for yourself? Yeah. Poorly? No, you know who gave me food poisoning? Yeah. John O'Zalay. You know the yeah, comic, John O'Zalay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. John One time yeah, I let yeah. him cook me chicken. I was shitting for 
I'm going to say eight hours straight. That's when you shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's when you poop in public. No, I wasn't in public. Thank goodness. Yeah, you're hemmed up. You're in a bed. Yeah. You're on I, the couch. I just rolled around. It was like a, getting stabbed in the gut all night. No sleep. Just get up, shit. Get up, shit. I've done I've done a thing where uh, I was puking and shitting so much I just laid down in the shower. Yeah, that's a good move. And just shit and that puke. cold. There's and nothing really? better than that cold. And I would just shit and puke and let it run down the drain. <laughs> yeah, Jesus damn. Christ. Was like, the shower like on? Like livestock. Yeah, and just I would just <laughs> oh hose God. myself down like a lamb giving birth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's covered in goo. Oh my yeah. God. He's just crying and shit and throwing up. It was happening so frequently oh and coming God. out of both really? ends. I was just like, Your dad's fuck it. probably going, I got a piss, get out of there. <laughs> He's probably jerking off again. What are you doing no, this, th- no, this is why I was like living in my apartment uh, or an apartment with my girlfriend. I'm sure she was thrilled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How long after that did that end? <laughs> I know it wasn't three years. 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 <laughs> really? Yeah. Women do love you for a long time. Yeah. I don't know why. Well, I got a little. I got some. <laughs> I, I cooked Devil fish God. one time and gave myself <laughs> to my madness. You get that jack. No one heard that. <laughs> <clears throat> and I'm going to let you out there hanging, hanging high and dry. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, <laughs> this is from Josh Carter. Yo, big fan. First time question. Do either you, do, does anybody have any visible cigarette burns? Yeah, I have oh, one right funny. here. Are they on your hand? I got yeah. one right somewhere. Yeah, yeah here. Did it college would be cool kind of thing? Yeah. One of these guys. It's I a got real dirt bag. Yeah, thing. that's a nice one. That's yeah, a held in circle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. D- on purpose? Why would you go to the most delicate part? Yeah. You got to go. I got a thing. real bad drunk. one right there that you can't really see too well, but I got it when I was real little. The story is. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to mock me, you fuck? No. What? The story is, is that I walked into. Only you would take that like that. What? He's been busting my balls about my long stories and the way he dropped his wish and the story He's goes. He's also very crazy. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> I, was not, I was not mocking you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> He's just feeling vulnerable about his childhood. Uh, is that a, the, the story is, is that I walked into my aunt who had a cigarette, lit cigarette in her hand. Now... <laughs> I things piece, aren't adding up. I piece some <laughs> want things O'Connor to cross examine you now? Or something? <laughs> what do you want to do? Get the is, bottom. Get the is bottom. Is this your it. fucking signature? <laughs> the it's too like dead on. You think there was some intent? Did you have a bad some relationship Rhea. with her? I was like three. A bad relationship. With oh, her. I didn't know how old you were. You said you were walking by her. What kind of three year olds <laughs> walking that fucking eye? <laughs> yeah, <that's true>. yeah <laughs> what have got your head, not oh, your arm? Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying, and I don't remember it. It's before I can remember. Well, she probably pissed her off. Somebody put a cigarette butt out on me. That's what I think. I assume that's what happened. Yeah. That's Jesus. what I think. Yeah. I yeah. Get, you could see my initials We get in high school in 1998. Uh, Branded? Yeah, with a razor blade. We all put our last names on our... F- I got like PA and... Wait, with a hot razor blade or just cut? Just cut. We just cut into our yeah, arms. Yeah, just cut with razor blades. And one kid w- went No movies out that weekend, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know. We just got drunk at a shore house in uh, Seattle. And then we just all were like, let's do our initials. All right. O'Connor, you never do anything like that, right? No, I had a friend once turn on, Meg- victims, yeah. turn on Megadeth and fucking pierce his nipples in high school. Oh I was just like hanging out at his house and he was just like, uh, and he started wiping the blood on his face. Oh my God. And I was like, Jesus Christ. Dude. What the fuck? You yeah, hang out with nuts. this guy? Yeah. He's a buddy of yours? Yeah. Still, still, still yeah. talk to him? Yeah, he's the still man. Still got his nips pierced? No. Still on the no. mega death? They never really <laughs> close up, though. Dude, yeah. <laughs> he could get it in if he wanted to. <laughs> you ever have an aunt like, coming up like, Steve, where are my earrings? Like she goes to a wedding once. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, <laughs> vicious. I assume you had your close. ears pierced. Yeah, I got both pierced. Yeah. Well, what, 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 what was it? Did you have like the diamond studs? Yeah, I went diamond that studs. That was a big thing. I also had gold hoops at one time. Yeah. What? Did you ever have multiple <laughs> earrings in each ear? Yeah. Wow. I did the hoops multiples. I went diamond solo. One diamond. <laughs> One diamond. Real diamond. Oh, Kubrick Sarconi or something. I'm sorry. What kind of places <laughs> were you going what when kind you were doing that? I don't know. He also Kubrick's... just say razor blade and fucking cut himself with his initials. What? What kind of places were you going? Dude, finger banging parties. FBPs? <laughs> yeah. I don't what kind know. of your ears? Like dance. No. Nose? No. Nope. Penis? Nope. I my buddy <laughs> not even close. I pierced his eyebrow one time. It was like eighth grade or whatever. Where you know in his room you're just got looking for something to do. Yeah. And he's like, I want to pierce my eyebrow. <clears throat> when, you know, I'll do it myself in the bathroom. I'm like I'll fucking you know I'll do it. Thought I had the guts to do it. Yeah. So just heated up a safe like a big safety pin. Uh, and I got through. I think I went up for. The, I don't know what I got through half. Damn. But then I don't they clamp it? Like did you? How did you clamp? 
I, 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 I didn't have the guts to get, like, I got in. Oh, so you but pushed. I, yeah, because I'm like, dude, I'm fucking, yeah. I'm, I'm throwing my fucking <laughs> no, hips behind this no. thing, and it's not coming up. Yeah, yeah. So I, I was like, I'm out. So I just left it with him. <laughs> <laughs> he had a fucking uh, a a safety pin just hanging in his head, and he's like, someone's got to do it. Someone's got to do it. <laughs> you <laughs> piece of shit. Yeah, I passed, dude. I'm squeamish. Where did you, you hit after? muscle? What? what? Did you hit muscle or something? What I don't know. It just happened? wasn't. It was just. He's just squirmish. Was yeah. it? It was you like taking the it. hook out of a fish. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it was like a small man. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. You can't, uh, I yeah, but you feet. can't. You can't leave somebody hanging. Well, with that. I did. I'm sorry, James. <laughs> I bet he was more of a big mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Guy who wants his eyebrow pierced in the basement. <laughs> That's a motherfucker that yaps. <laughs> I'm gonna run down and grab a sandwich real quick. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I think my dad's calling me. He just hangs a Christmas ball on the one end. <laughs> <laughs> no, you look good. You look good. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. Uh, mm. All right. Um, let's see this is from Lewis. Uh, you ever live on the same block as a decommissioned limousine? What the fuck does that even live mean? on the same where block? like someone has a limo or does anybody it's in your not, neighborhood? It's, have not, oh, it's not really a limousine. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, what do you got? Fucking eight spots taken up? <laughs> oh, I mean, Was I went to school with a girl limo? who had a ambu- an ambulance, like a decom, and <laughs> she would, she moved to the neighborhood. She was new in the neighborhood. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it wasn't not for a sixth grade girl. Yeah, there was that a, was oh, not she got, fucking, oh, she got yeah. fucking crushed. There was a short bus parked behind like somebody <laughs> shed in their back. <laughs> <laughs> that, that had been there for a while. Yeah, school buses like yeah. people get those. Well, they become for like you know uh, tailgating parties. In what? The best, no, what are you talking? No, about? in the best yeah, circumstances, you know, yeah, yeah, you yeah, paint yeah. it eagles you green eagles and you get a green. grill. And yeah, you, yeah, yeah. But that's Dude. that's the one percent of, <laughs> of school bus owners. My one, my one buddy put it painted his uh, like a fucking shitty Nissan, like oh. an '85 Nissan, bright orange for and the flyers. Yeah. Frankie Squaw, shout out Frank, and then and then painted the flyers logo. On the front of his little beater. That's just Were they good that year or something? I, no, I just think he's so passionate. <laughs> I love Lindy <Lindros. laughs> <laughs> yeah. And this wasn't a tailgating car. This is like go to work car. <laughs> yeah, got to go to enter- <laughs> Enterprise rent a car or whatever. <laughs> what if you, you get like fired that. for something like that? If you had like a business job and you were showing up with a bright orange... Well, he's not doing door to door sales. I'm sure. He's... I'm saying in the in the, in the company. You wouldn't happen to be a Flyers fan, would you, sir? <laughs> <laughs> Who's your long distance carrier at the moment? <laughs> Have I already stopped by here? <laughs> we had the ultimate trash. Uh, somebody in our neighborhood had a DeLorean, an old yes, DeLorean. Yes, that Did it run, no. dude. No, never. That, never well, they never run. No, dude. Fucking t- four flat tires just sitting in the driveway. Didn't matter. Everybody rolled by. Yo, yeah. <laughs> this is the DeLorean. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, is that trash? I thought that was cool. Yeah, when it no, doesn't that's run. Cool fuck. Yeah, that, that's cool. As fuck. Yeah, but it's like so that's it's someone's the trashy project. Hope. That's yes. someone's project. But the people. Yeah. This is my thing with it. <laughs> that's a project. It's is a project, true? but yeah. the people who want that to be a project never have. They get the money. They're getting money. Yeah, and they yeah. never have the operating capital finish yeah, the project. 100%. Right, right. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah, yeah. 100%. yeah they that's have no idea what that entails. As soon as they got the car, they're like, "It's all downhill from here." We have the car, and it just sits there for three years, and they try to sell it and get their money out of it. And those parts aren't made anywhere. It was real trash. It was like weeds growing up behind. it. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the landscaping's I, always tough on the back oh, side of those. Yeah. Cars. One time wow. my big aunt split the back of the chair at Thanksgiving, just exploded into like matchsticks. You can't bounce back from that. No. A broken chair. Yeah. I, yeah. And I her name's Lori, which times. is a beefy Ooh. name to start. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? She's a little thicker. Lori. <laughs> Who? Lori. That's a cheat. You come out. You come out of the womb with a big meat wagon when your yeah. name's Lori. You got some hips on you. As <laughs> soon as that name goes on a fucking birth certificate, <laughs> boom. <laughs> It's like Nutty Professor. Yeah. You She's smell busting right out of her diaper. Uh. <laughs> it's not a forgiving name. <laughs> it's like Maggie, like shit like that, you know what I mean? <laughs> Beef bag names, immediate. Yeah, uh-huh. there's some hot Maggies out there, though. Very yeah. hot Maggies. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there is. Curly hair. You, you said that like one got like the one that got away. <laughs> I know a Maggie. Curly yeah, hair, like, dimples. Got out of the trunk. I feel like hot Maggies have curly hair. Yeah, they do. Probably. <laughs> Never seen one. <laughs> I'll look like linebackers. To me. Yeah. <laughs> oh All right, let's do one more and then wrap Please. it up. This has been a heater, boy. What is this? Three, three questions. Four, five, maybe. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that's good. About 15, that's 20 minutes of questions. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Uh, this is from Lee. Ever book a hotel room with cash? Yeah, of course. Of course you have. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, no. I didn't have any credit cards. I know. I still, I mean, I just. What did you have to put down? Because that happened to me once. I used to have to go to, I forget, but I used to have to go to, um, 
uh, what's the uh, the Walmart? Not Walmart. What's the Sears? Shittiest Walgreens department store. Kmart. Woolworths. Yeah, it was either Kmart or something. But I had to pay back uh, a debt uh, using to a, clean up your credit to clean up my credit. So I had to pay that with cash as well. Oh, like everything was cash because I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't afford a card. You had to go to a Walmart to pay a up. bill. You paid a bill in the store. Well, it was through this. Uh, what's the pay process? <laughs> Jesus Christ, I don't remember any of this. It was like fifteen. Dirtbags.com. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I paid. So I had to pay in cash for for hotels and shit. Damn. Like if I want to take a girl to Red Roof Inn after going to the Irish pub. Red After winning a Halloween in. contest, that's what I did. <laughs> Halloween oh, contest? What was the outfit or costume? Me and my boy were 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 Tetris pieces. Really or intense something. about Halloween for like three, four years. Jesus Christ! And uh, we're in his his parents' basement. It's so important when you're like 24 yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like 20 for those years. 20, yeah. 21, 22, 23. Your identity for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Kevin. You start planning like April. Thank you, Kev. Yeah. So uh, this one year. Uh, we couldn't figure out what we wanted to be, and we're like fucking. We used to go to Davis's Trading Post, and like, and then just like walk around, find something, and we go back to his parents' uh, basement, and we're just fucking scratching our heads. And he looks over, and he's like, "I fucking got it, like, dude, I got it." And he, I could see, it, I could tell he had a good one. He looks behind the couch. He goes, "Look," and it's a full size white Siberian tiger. This is like two weeks, maybe one week after Siegfried and Roy got bit. Ooh. So we're going to be Siegfried and Roy. So we go to Davis's Trading Post and we just get two. Um, what are they paying you or something? Like the fifth time you mentioned Davis's Trading Post. Yeah. No, it's just the best place to go. I don't air. know what it is either. Well, Delco, Delco White's will understand. It's like when right? my mom mentions the five and dime. I'm like, so yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Sequent one piece suits, like Elvis suits. I get black, he gets white, uh-huh. and the, it's full size tiger. So he he's obviously the guy that gets bit. So he ties the tiger around it. I I, I it would be dragon. He was he's six four, and then he gets a neck wound. He's got all the things, all the accessories that are fun. I, mean, I just look like a fucking. When he goes to the bathroom, I'm just. I'm just <laughs> you look like a BG. I'm a gay op. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a BG. Yes. Yeah. But the uh, prize money was seven hundred seven hundred dollars. So what they did was they walked around. There was like a it's like whatever the hosts were, or the uh, judges. They walk like around. They or something. They tap you and they'd be like, "Yeah, you're in the top ten. And then it was mob, dude. Nuts to butts. You couldn't fucking slide anywhere. So we go in the back, and they parade you around on top of the bar. In the back, they pick the top five. The top five would stand on the bar and walk all the way to the end of the bar, and the dude would put his hand over each one and crowd. There was like 300 people. It was my first kill. Because by the time they got my to us. first kill. They fr- <laughs> it was Halloween at the shush. Irish pub. No. Oh, shush. Dude, shush. let me tell you how. Tommy, keep going. Let me tell you how keep going. emotional this was. He started crying. <laughs> he was so happy and laughing so hard. <laughs> they get to before they could even get to us. We're on the, the the fifth on the end. The entire place is chanting Siegfried and Roy, Siegfried and Roy. And then they put on this like this music. He starts doing the fucking Billy Madison the pony dance down the other end of the bar, back and forth. And then we uh, we met a couple ladies because <laughs> you know yeah. <laughs> and then I showman. went to the Red Roof Inn, paid a little cash. And had that was the worst next day. Uh, what do you call it? Walk of shame. <laughs> Just <being laughs> a, a sequin suit coming out of the red roof <laughs> yeah. with a bloody stuffed tiger. <laughs> <laughs> no, he had the tiger. We split ways. Holy shit! Oh my god! These two are crazy. Uh, that's yeah. not a crazy <laughs> story. That's legit. a fun, useful that's a good story. One. That's a good one. <laughs> A good one. The red roof. That is a good one. That's a I fun like human that experience you had. I like, that, I like yes. that one. Connor, are you having a that good time? That sounds enjoyable. Connor, are you having a good time? Yeah, yeah. I've never gotten laid from a costume before. <laughs> what were your Halloween costumes? And like, this is college. a costume. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, no Where, yeah. I think I was the dude one year. Who's, Who's the big dude? Lebowski? From Lebowski. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's just his neighbor. Dude, I, I <laughs> never had a good costume. Again, it's it's like it's cooking. It's not something I just to be proud of, to be shit. honest. Yeah, yeah. it's like uh, but we, day, we I mean, it was bi- it was big. That is Boys. a good costume, man. I love it. <laughs> Boys, we absolutely love you. I love you. Stuff too, Island is a podcast. Patreon's cooking. Yeah, you're gonna we be doing a cooking show. Up. We're also doing. He filmed me cut my hair because people are interested in how to how to cut their own hair. So, so we're gonna do like <laughs> stupid <laughs> shit like that. Those two. It is impressive. They're just at some point. It's gonna be a 24 or seven live stream of their, them just hanging out in their house. This is we are, you Pay for it. You get it. Wednesday, <laughs> <laughs> top tier member. Wednesday nights. Wednesday nights we do live stream us playing. Uh, dude, it's Oculus. surprisingly fucking fun. It, it's fucking really fun. I know. First, I do plus, 
He was giving me the metaverse <laughs> rundown <laughs> where I was just like, uh, yeah, I was like, I don't get it. Sure. Oh, you're going to be big in the metaverse. You, 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 <laughs> He's you, already you, killed three you, people in the metaverse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a They're hanging man. upside down, bleeding out. They're shitting and puking in tubs. <laughs> <laughs> you live on some far off space system. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys. Yeah, thank, thank you guys. You, thank you for we absolutely us. love you. Kippy, what do you got for him? Guys, check out the fucking special. Our live show, the Middle Class Famous Tour, is on sale right now. We're going to Hartford, Albany, Syracuse, fucking Atlanta, Tampa, Orlando, Pittsburgh, Buffalo, Detroit, Denver, Phoenix, Salt Lake City, Chicago, Rosemont, the whole nine. At Cameron Comedy on social media. Check it out. And we'll be adding more dates to that. We love you guys, and we'll see you next week. Peace.